सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी आई सी इंजन एंड द्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम नाइनटीन एटी नाइन दिस क्वेश्चन वाई एम डिस्कसिंग बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन अट्रैक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ डाउट सो लेट एस डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड अंडरस्टैंड uh how we can reach to the final conclusion right so what this question is about this question is about the uh, standard auto cycle suppose so i have represented the auto cycle here 1 2 3 4 1 1 this is the auto cycle two constant volume processes two adiabatic processes now let us see what they are saying they are saying in an air standard auto cycle the terminal pressure that is the pressure at the end of the processes uh at the end of compression heat release now this is the end of compression then heat is released so 2 to 3 is the heat addition process uh and expansion is 3 to 4 so at the end of compression pressure is p2 at the end of heat release it is p3 and at the end of expansion it is p4 if the corresponding values are p2 dash p3 dash and p4 dash taking into account the effect of variable specific heat now what is variable specific heat see as the temperature increases as the temperature increases uh the both the specific heat cp and c both of them increase both of them increase but the ratio gamma decreases the ratio of the specific heat decreases right now uh if the this is the impact of actually change in specific heat now i'll talk about the dissociation also uh but let us consider this impact here so when we are compressing the temperature is increasing so the specific heats will be increasing but the ratio of the specific heat that is gamma will reduce now what impact it will have on a curve any curve which is having uh, suppose if we see two curves here these two curves are there a and b so and uh, suppose for the adiabatic process there is pv to the power gamma equal to constant so when the gamma value is higher the curve becomes more steep that means the gamma value for here in this curve will be higher compared to this curve that means if the gamma is higher the curve will be more vertical so if the temperature is increasing gamma is decreasing that means the curve will become less vertical so the actual curve if we start from here it will not be a steeper curve compared to this it will be less steep it will be less steep so suppose we reach here somewhere that is 2 dash so the pressure p2 dash we can uh, straight away see p2 dash is less than p2 so this is one of the conclusion which we can make here then heat addition process so if we start the heat addition process suppose the same heat addition is taken but now we are taking the impact of change of uh, specific heats so if we start from here the same heat addition we will see that we will reach slightly before this this will be 3 dash why one reason is that we started below this value so uh, we will uh, end up below this value if the same heat addition is taking place secondly as the temperature has increased the specific heat has increased so uh, same heat will be able to uh, increase lesser temperature the for uh, the same heat addition the increment in the temperature is less because uh, higher specific heat means you need more energy for a unit change in temperature so p3 uh, dash again is less than p3 p3 dash is less than p3 so p2 is greater than uh, p2 dash so this op option is wrong here it says p2 is less than uh, p2 dash then p3 is uh, less than p3 dash they are saying so this option is again wrong here p2 is greater than p2 dash p2 is greater than p2 dash and p3 is greater than p3 dash right so this can be correct and p2 is greater than p2 dash p3 is greater than p3 dash but now we have to compare uh, the value of p4 and p4 dash then we can see which option is correct out of the option c and option d now uh, what is dissociation so they are saying taking dissociation of the working fluid now dissociation means in the ic engine uh, the dissociation means the uh working fluid uh, like see association means when the molecules are joining so uh, the combustion process carbon and oxygen join to form co2 but the dissociation can be the conversion of co2 into carbon monoxide and oxygen so the dissociation can be like this 
So there can be a conversion of let us say CO2 into CO and O2. So this can be a process of dissociation. Now this is one of the example. Now if the number of uh, atoms reduces, suppose if you see CO2, it is a triatomic gas. And if you see uh, CO and O2, both are diatomic gases. So diatomic gases are having a higher value of gamma. That means the dissociation will increase the gamma value. So if it will increase the gamma value, it will make the curve more steep. So this will make the curve steeper. So this will make the curve steeper. Compared to this, this curve will be slightly steeper. So this curve will be slightly steeper. I am just showing you uh, exaggerated so that uh, we can easily understand. So if this curve is steeper, we will end up below this. Anyway, we are starting from here. So we are ending up here. So this is 4 dash. So 4 dash, P4 dash is actually less than P4. P4 dash is less than P4. So here they are saying P4 dash is more than P4. So this option is also wrong. So this uh, option D here will be the correct answer. Fine. Please take this.